Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Good morning, my dear students. How are you all? Hope you all are fine. This is your social studies teacher. First of all, I welcome you all in your new class. Okay, students, make sure that your social studies book should be with you people. And you, first of all, you have to mark the course content. Okay, on your book. Course content, I am discuss kar rahi hoon. Uh, first of all, we have geography section and then we have history section. In geography section, we have chapter number one, geography of the Muslim world. Then we have chapter number two, climatic regions of the Muslim world. Chapter number four, minerals and natural resources of the Muslim world. Then history section. In history section, we have chapter number 14, national unity and freedom movements. Then chapter number 15, the struggle for freedom. And then chapter number 16, the road to independence. Okay, students, now I am going to start our first chapter, that is chapter number 1, Geography of the Muslim World. It is from history section, sorry, it is from geography section. Okay, geography of the Muslim world, in this, uh, um, in this unit, we have to, uh, first of all, I, uh, I will explain first uh, what is meant by geography and then what is meant by the Muslim world. Okay, first, geography. The word geography, geo means earth and graphy means study. So geography means study of earth. Then we have Muslim world. When we talk about the Muslim world, so which thing comes in your mind? The word Muslim world means uh, Muslim community or where Muslims are in majority. According to your book, the definition of the Muslim world is Muslim world means those countries whose governments have declared that they are Islamic countries and where the majority of the population is Muslim. I repeat, Muslim world means those countries whose governments have officially declared that they are Islamic countries and where majority of the population is Muslim. Okay. Now, when we uh, see the world map, uh, so there are some areas of the world in which we have Islamic countries and there are some areas of the world in which we have no Islamic country. ठीक है मैं इस्लामिक कंट्रीज की बात कर रही हूँ मुस्लिम्स की नहीं मुस्लिम्स जो हैं वो तकरीबन दुनिया के हर कोने में मौजूद हैं लेकिन इस वक्त आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द इस्लामिक कंट्रीज एज इन दिस पिक्चर यू कैन सी इस्लामिक कंट्रीज मेजॉरिटी ऑफ द इस्लामिक कंट्रीज आर लोकेटेड इन नॉर्थ नदर्न अफ्रीका सदर्न एशिया एंड मिडल ईस्ट ठीक है सो इन दिस पिक्चर यू कैन सी the Muslim countries of the Middle East. Muslim countries of the Middle East like Saudi Arabia, Yemen, Oman, Iraq, Syria, Jordan, etc. etc. So these are the Muslim countries of Middle East. Okay. Then I have another picture. And in this picture you can see the Muslim countries of continent Africa. Okay. Egypt, Libya, Algeria, Morocco, Sudan, etc., etc. So these are the Muslim countries of continent Africa. Then in this picture you can see Islamic countries of Southeast Asia. Okay? As I have already told you that most of the Muslim countries are located in Northern Africa, Southern Asia and Middle East. Okay. Now stretch of the Muslim world. Muslim world jo hai wo kahan? फैला हुआ है और कितना फैला हुआ है ठीक है मुस्लिम स्ट्रेच ऑफ द मुस्लिम वर्ल्ड द मुस्लिम वर्ल्ड जो है स्ट्रेच अबाउट फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड किलोमीटर फ्रॉम ईस्ट टू वेस्ट एंड सिक्स थाउजेंड किलोमीटर फ्रॉम नॉर्थ टू साउथ नाउ दिस इज अ वास्ट रीजन मुस्लिम वर्ल्ड जो है ये बहुत बड़ा एरिया है बट हा हाउ दिस इस्लामिक कंट्रीज और हाउ दिस मुस्लिम वर्ल्ड जो है दे आर बाउंड टूगेदर How these Islamic countries are bound together? Islamic countries are spread through within the vast region. They had different cultures. There are many different differences in traditions, customs, norms, etc., etc. Now, what is the actually the basic thing that bound these Islamic countries together? So, when I say, when I say Islamic country. The thing that comes in, your, in our mind is 
Islam, yes, Islam jo hai, due to Islam, these Islamic countries are bound together. Theek hai? The next thing we have, uh, we do have a pure faith uh, on our Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam and then faith in Quran. So Islamic countries are bound together by faith in Islam, faith in Quran and faith in Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Okay. Islam jo hai, it is the second largest religion of the world. Second largest religion. First largest religion jo hai, that is Christianity. Islam jo hai, it is the second largest religion and fastest growing one. Thik? Then, hum baat jab karte hain, humne jab padha tha, start me minna aapko bataya tha, geography. What is geography? Study of earth. In geography, hum kya karte hain? Earth ke physical and political features ke baare mein padhte hain. Geography is the physical and political features of the earth. So, physical features ke jab hum baat karte hain, so what are physical features? Physical features... Uh, features on the earth surface that has been uh, formed by nature ठीक है जो कुदरती तौर पर होते हैं for example mountains, deserts, hills, rivers, lakes, plateaus etc etc so these are the physical features of the earth जो के man made नहीं है natural है ठीक है कुदरती हैं ओके जब mountains की जब हम बात करते हैं so main mountain regions of the World are Atlas Range in North Africa. The main mountains are Atlas Range in North Africa, the highlands of Ethiopia, Yemen, and the southern end of Saudi Arabia, Eastern Turkey, and much of Iran. Okay, the highest region, ab main mountain regions, I have told you, the highest region hai, the highest regions of all are Afghanistan, Hindu Kush and Karakuram mountains of Pakistan but very few people live in these mountainous regions why because of the harsh climatic conditions okay so that's why very few people live in these mountainous regions okay much of the Muslim world has is not very uh, fertile or we can say has a very little natural vegetation Okay, much of the Muslim world has a very little natural vegetation. Ab natural vegetation kya hoti hai? Natural vegetation means the plants that grow naturally. Okay, as I have already told you that much of the Muslim world has very little natural vegetation except Malaysia, Indonesia and some parts of Africa. More than, achai, more than half of the world is hot desert, temperate desert, semi-desert and scrub in these deserts okay desert areas jo hain yahan pe kya hote hain they are only tough plants like cactus which can survive in such harsh conditions okay okay these can provide food only for the hardiest sheep and goats kept by nomadic or semi-nomadic people Nomadic, here is the word nomadic. The word nomadic means people who wander with their animals in search of food and water. Jisko hum kehte hain khana badosh. Jo ke ek jaga se dousri jaga hijrat karte hain khuraak aur pani ki talash mein. Okay, so kya hai? Ke ye jo humare paas jo deserts hain, ye kya hume provide karte hain? They are the source of food. Kis ke liye source of food hai? For the hardiest sheep and goats kept by nomadic and semi-nomadic people. Okay. Then we have tropical forest. Tropical forest mein humare paas aajata hai ke there are some areas where we have tropical rain forest like uh, uh, in Central Africa and Southeast Asia which produce huge amount of timber. Timber jo hai khas kisam ki lakri hoti hai, thik hai? And tropical forest uh, produce, products such as rubber and tropical fruits. Thik? Okay, in other countries, good farm crops are produced. Good farm crops are produced like most of the Muslim countries uh, are agricultural countries. Thik? And good farm crops are produced here uh, just because of the, uh, it is possible because of water. Now, water ka kon kon se eh, rivers ka hume milta hai, jo Muslim countries hai, the main rivers of the Muslim world are River Nile, 
river tigris river euphrates and river indus these are the main rivers of the muslim world and uh, as i have told you that uh, muslim world jo hai majority of the muslim world are uh, uh, produces good farm crops and why it is possible because of soil here the soil is very fertile and here we have plenty of water theek hai so that's why in return uh, it produces good amount of food crops okay so this was all about your today's lecture hope you understood it thank you so much and allah hafiz